You're watching Without the Snow Dogs. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. We're on the road. And it's 16 degrees outside. Look, there's snow. And look back here. We have empty kennels. There's no puppies in those kennels. Oh, not yet. Camera. So, we were on Facebook the other day and we got a message about one dog that needed a transport from Toledo, Ohio to the Upper Peninsula, to Shingleton, I think it is, uh, Michigan. And it's a six month old husky puppy that needs a ride. Well, we had already planned to be going from Alpena to almost the Shingleton, pretty much, um, today, which is Saturday. So we contacted him and we said, if you can get the puppy to us, we'll take it the rest of the way. And it turned out, instead of one puppy, it's now two puppies. And we have to stop in St. Ignis and drop off one. So we are on our way to Gaylord to pick up a nine-month-old coonhound puppy and a six-month-old husky puppy. The coonhound puppy is going to St. Ignis and the husky puppy we're taking pretty much all the way up north of us. So that's what we're doing today. We're transporting some puppies. Then we're going to go see Jamie's dad. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know how we get roped into this, but it should be fun. It will be fun. We're going to put them in them kennels because we don't know how they're going to act. So let's see. And we get to see the pretty snow and the sunrise. We, oh, we're bouncy. We have two puppies. Look at that boy. Look how pretty. And then there's this little tiny coonhound in here. Oh my gosh. You're so little. Oh, it's a yawn. We've got the puppies and we're headed to the gas station. And then we'll go to St. Ignace. Gosh, you're pretty. You are so pretty. 324. Jamie's out there pumping gas. He can't figure it out. He's like, what is going on? I know, as soon as we get on the expressway, we'll stop at a rest area and we'll let you out. You are pretty. Man, somebody's gonna snag you right up. Supposedly, this husky is six months old and 45 pounds, which means he is going to be a tank. He don't look like he's gonna get too big. And then there's this little cutie in here. You are so precious. This dog gets car sickness, so they gave it some medication before they left, so she's kinda sleepy. You're kinda sleepy, huh? You're going to Canada, eh? Yeah, you're going to Canada. You're going to Canada and you're going up north. Look at you, what a pretty face. I think you guys have seen this before. Does this scene look familiar? Except there's a little bit more snow. There's a big ship out there, I can't zoom in. Truck. Truck. Mm -mm. He's going to Escanaba. We're on a bridge. Oh, look at the sun over there, that looks so pretty. And it's a lot less scary this time because it's not super windy and I'm not driving and it's not snowing. <laughs> yes, all those things matter. And we still got two sleepy puppies. We are supposed to be meeting the next people in St. Ignace, which is just on the other side of the bridge. And we're dropping off Andy the Coonhelm puppy. They, uh, they're driving all the way down from Sault Ste. Marie, Canada. So they're probably not there yet because I think we said 10 o'clock and it's only quarter after nine. So we may have to take the puppies out and play with them. I think we will. <laughs> That's a good idea. Or at least let them go to the bathroom. Yeah, they probably need a potty. Maybe some water. Yeah, it's a good idea. So we might get to play with the puppies for a little bit while we wait for these people to show up. And then we're heading to Sini to meet up with the lady from uh, Harry Houdini Husky Rescue to try to give the husky to her. Toku, toku. I don't know how you say it. Something like that. The husky. <laughs> oh, my phone's going off. I gotta check. There's the bridge. Come here. What do you think, huh? What do you think? Oh, I know. You're just crazy. You remind me of Shelby when she was a baby. Oh, no. You're just a happy puppy. Oh, look at Oh, honey. Hi. You don't have enough fur to keep warm. Not really. You're just so little. Wanna walk over here and potty? Oh, walk over here, buddy. You are so hyper. You are so hyper. Whoa, it's icy. Whoa, it's icy. Whoa. She, she don't know better. Or he. Hi, how are you? Come this way. You're so little. This way. 
Hey, oh, it's okay, you. Get down. I don't want to get down. I want to jump up. Jumping up is way more fun than getting down. Want to go potty? Come on, buddy. Let's go potty. Boy. It's a baby boy. I think Jamie likes this puppy. Oh, don't let him out. You can't get out. I see your little face. I see right, your little sit. face. You gotta stay in there. <laughs> till we get to the next Aww. stop. Aww. Yeah, we know it sucks. Aww. It sucks. Aww. You're so good cute. He's huge, a good boy. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. All right. right. Time for a nap. Yep, time for a nap. Are you gonna get cast rod? Oh, wait, you already called it. We didn't pass it yet, still here. Oh, are you gonna get cast rod? I will now that you mentioned cast <laughs> rod. I didn't know you hit record. <laughs> I hit record, Jamie. Oh, hi, audience. <laughs> What's are up? you gonna get cast rod? I'll get cast rod, Jamie. All right. <laughs> Nice and sunny up here too, you know. Yeah, I did actually cross the bridge and the sun came out. We just dropped off the puppy and found out that we're dumb. And that puppy, the coonhound puppy, the coonhound puppy, it was a girl. And we were calling it Andy because in the email I had it said Andy. Her name was actually Andromeda. And she is being adopted by somebody up in Canada. Um, they're picking her up tomorrow morning. I could tell it was a girl. I mean, Castle Rock. It, it wanted to be loved, you can see. Yeah, she was a sweetheart. Yeah, I can't zoom in on this broken camera. The phone wants me to go the wrong way. Well, There's Castle Rock! I'll get right in front of you, Jamie, because I can't right. zoom in. Definitely. And we still got you. Now we're taking you to Sini. What do you think of that? The sun is shining on you. You look pretty funny. Mm -hmm. Hi, baby. How are now you? Now that is a boy. Did that's anybody, a boy. Did we actually check? No, I didn't check, but <laughs> that's a boy. Yeah, he acts like a boy, though. Yeah, we're pretty sure you're a boy. Yeah, we're pretty sure you're a boy. If not, we might have to keep you. <laughs> oh, he looked at me when I said that. What? Keep me? Yeah. Happy puppy. I also thought I should show you that it is 9 degrees and you can't really tell but those trees are frozen at the top. Oh my gosh, they are. <laughs> oh, here's some that are closer. They're actually frozen. Frozen trees. Yeah, they're covered in ice. Yep. <laughs> and actually the clouds you were looking at looks like we're driving right yeah. into them. They're not as dark as we thought, but it's definitely snowing up there. Yeah. 9 degrees. We're almost to your spot, dude. We're almost there. And then you get to go with somebody else. What do you think of that? You get to go see more huskies. She's got more huskies, yeah. I know, we're almost there. Almost there. We're at the end of your trip, dude. Oh, here's the BP. Here's the BP. You're going to her. Say bye. Mission accomplished. Go for a ride, Candy? We go for a ride? We go for a ride? So Going for a ride with Jamie's dad and his stepmom Ruth and their dog Candy. Even though we don't have our dogs with us, we can take their dog, right? Right, Candy? Candy's got a coat on. Help keep her warm because it's cold. You got a coat on? I like your coat, Candy. I like your coat. coat. Maybe tells you all about him. Huh? Just in that little piece of paper. <laughs> he can't figure out what it is. <laughs> I handed one to what grandma. He says, Merry Christmas, I got you something. It's a calendar. <laughs> <laughs> we got you guys off. What are you doing, Candy? You can chew on it, really. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Our top 10 favorite moments of 2012. Happy New Year. During the countdown, you can click on the middle of these videos. It'll take you to the full video of that day and there'll be a button to bring you back to this countdown where you left off. So feel free to click anytime to go see the videos. Coming in at number 10 is the Wings Over Alpena Air Show that we got to go to. This show comes to Alpena every other year. We've gone the past few times it's been here.